we're going to the water. Let's take a look at your boat on the outside. Got our lights on up here, navigation, docking lights. Hull looks great. Looking at the sides, we got her cleaned up, polished pretty. First thing you do before you get into the water is you put your plug in, which we're about to have a real life example by a plumber. All right, here's your plug, put it in, okay? Now, when you're done boating, you take it out of the water, you take it back out, okay? Just like that. So they polish clear around. Prop looks great, skag's great. There you go. It's here. Anchor light plugs in right there. See, these lights are on. Now, I, uh, I'm actually doing this in reverse. It's the only way to make the videos flow. So, we already went for a drive, but the point I'm trying to make is when I was in the boat and I sh showed you what the buttons can do, when I'm, I guess, in reverse, I'm about to get in the boat and drive it and show you what the buttons can do. And I say the light's in the top, it's not. Plugs in, stores in the ski storage. Okay? So, now let's go have some fun, shall we? Okay, we're out here on your boat. Second thing we do when we get inside is we turn our battery switch on right here. Okay, so we switch that to one, two, or both. The stator from the outboard is going to charge whatever battery that we've selected while we're running. So normally you just put it on both, okay? Why do you put it on both? So the stator charges both, and if we're going to cove out listen to the radio, we can switch it to one or two. That way if we go to start it, click, 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 we got one fully charged battery, and a boat only needs a battery. So to start it, turn the switch on. Now there's a master power button right here. Okay, that just turns on all this stuff, right? All the dash stuff, okay? Um, horn and buttons and everything else, but it'll start without that. So if your stuff's not working up here, master power, okay? Three things that won't start. Click, 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 dead battery. Turn the key over, nothing happens whatsoever. Uh, your battery switches off or it's in gear, okay? So let's just put it in gear and watch. Nothing, absolutely nothing, okay? If you turn the switch and it just turns over and turns over and turns over and won't fire like this, won't start it's the kill switch it's the safety feature okay so the three things click 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 dead battery turn the key nothing happens either it's in gear or your battery switches off turn the key and it just turns over won't fire safety switch we interrupt our program to bring you this important message otherwise we just turn the key just like that now it's super quiet can't even hardly hear it run but you can see the water coming out Okay. Shifting on all outboards is a little loud. There's a catch right there. Definitively in forward. Okay. Neutral. Reverse. You lift up to engage it in gear. Definitive catch and your throttle range is beyond that. Hear that? Never back up too fast and reverse. You can catch a wave. Okay. So let's get out there and have some fun. All right. Tilt and trim gauge right here. That raises and lowers the outboard. See the gauge coming up? See it going down. See the motor coming up, I think. Yep, see it going down. Okay. We've got our hillbilly GPS right here, compass. Let's see, what's this? We've got our tachometer, we've got our fish finder coming on. We have to hit the power button for that. Shows our depth. Let me this is in a tilt wheel. Sorry. See so hit that button right there. Now let me go down even further. See it better. So that shows our feet. That our feet. How many feet of water when we know how accurate these are because once I hit these no egg buoys up here, it's about 50. Okay, speedo, we won't know till we're moving. Fuel's fuel. Good lord, Brandon. Fuel is full. Okay, the radio's right here. We've got a CD player. God knows what this is. Let's just turn it up and find out. Okay. Put some new speakers in there. Horn, driving at night, it's navigation, that's the red and green and the white. In the middle's off, anchor light stopped at night, it's built in on the bimini top. If you notice when Billy was doing the circle, me, filming me in circles, I was plugging it in. Okay, bilge pump, docking lights are the headlights, courtesy lights are on the floor, fresh water if it had a water tank, depth finder, it's, our, it's got a different one, it's not like a little in dash one, it's this big fancy one here. Accessories, sometimes you don't know till nighttime. So your stereo button's there. It's got little 
reset breakers down here if something's not working. Stereo sounds good. Turn it back down so we can talk. Now let's take a look at our condition. So I'm going to do a real good job on these seats for you, okay? Because I know you're concerned. So let's do seat backs. Okay. And then let's go down so we don't get dizzy. Center seat, corner seat. Get my head out of the way. Front seat. Okay. I mean, you know, we got storage underneath it. The table's also underneath there. You've already seen the boat, so that helps. So here's vinyl repair right there. Bottom seat. Okay, there's a final repair right there we did. Backrest, sides, I'm gonna hit the dock. Okay, you see your cooler and sink. I probably shouldn't leave in gear, I'm right on my mouth, should I? There we go. Okay, this backrest, let's do the sides. Okay, let's do the bottom. Now when we bring this, we're gonna have to take any seat that's not hinged out, we're gonna have to roll the carpet up, okay? So it may get a little dusty on the way there, but nothing I can do about that. At least it'll make it there in one piece. Captain's chair. Flip up poster. That's the orange bug I was whining about on the phone. Where it hit. Okay. Now let's go for a ride. Turns easy. No one's ever been really impressed with hydraulic steering, but it turns good enough for, for any boat. I'm not just saying these specifically. Actually, these specifically turn better than pontoon boats, but the style of steering is what I'm talking about. Okay? But these boats do track straight. So, to see how fast she planes. Sets itself right back down. Okay, then you can cruise or you can go fast. Let's go ahead and open it up so you can see what she can do. We're really moving. One. Go ahead and trim up. in the middle 40s around 6,000 rpm that's awesome so runs absolutely excellent let's take one more kind of quick peek around the boat so i can explain that We've got our bow filler cushions up here if you want to make this into a big sun pad up here you know it's got a brand new full mooring cover with it we got cooler underneath this seat ladder locker storage for a anchor storage underneath these seats uh sink trash can cooler Ski storage in the floor, storage underneath the, these seats. See our bimini top, it's not missing any pins, so that's good. See all the pins here? Check this side. Nope, not missing any pins. These are the trailer struts, these shorter arms. We're gonna put these on and we're gonna collapse this one, okay? Actually, it goes in down there. We got storage, storage, access, storage, bumper storage, okay? Ski tow bar. Um, there's the hydraulic steering I was talking about. So there she is. So we're going to go get it back on the trailer and I'll do my exterior video. I just want to walk you through a few things. Taking these boats in the water is easy. Okay? Taking them out of the water gives people trouble. Because they get the trailer too deep in the water. Do you see how I can see my guide bunks and I can see my front bunks? So Billy's simultaneously recording me. As long as I can see what I need, where I need to go, I can drive it right on there really easily. Okay? This trailer is made for this boat, only for this boat. So it can't get crooked if we just get it towards the middle. But if we have the trailer too far in the water, we can mess it up pretty easy. So just nothing herky-jerky, just slow and steady, applied pressure. See, I'm not give juicing it, just kind of easing it on with what direction he tells me to do. Okay, I'm leaving my throttle down. Go. Good to go. Now, when we're done, we turn our master power button off. And we come back here, turn our battery switch off, and we take our plug out, which we're getting ready to do.